What's up guys? Welcome back to Amazing RC. Well, I've got a very special video today, as I always do. Today, today I get to show you another very cool portion of our inclinometer. Now, if you remember correctly, the original inclinometer that we had, which is uh, uh, doubles as a shelf, was made out of carpet. And I did that because, well, everybody that makes indoor ramps, well, not everybody, but most people that make indoor ramps, they usually do carpet or they'll do uh, plywood, things like that. So I made it out of carpet, worked perfectly fine. But then I started to think, I don't really run into carpet too often when I'm out rock crawling with, you know, with my friends. So it, it led me to think I need to somehow get rock onto our inclinometer. So I started to brainstorm and I thought, okay, 12 inch tile. So I, I went through that idea and I thought, well, I mean, if I'm going to put rock on there, why put, you know, flat tile? I mean, I don't run into flat tile when I'm out on the mountains. Um, I just got from a friend of mine two boxes of basically what you would brick fireplace with. Um, and I, it, it was so much of it that I was able to pick through all these wild three-dimensional, you know, bricks. And I came up with just enough to be able to put one solid rock layer across the inclinometer. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to set the inclinometer up and be able to adjust it just like we did before. Except for when I got everything set up. I noticed that my rocks were not sticking to my inclinometer and it was due to this flex seal that I have underneath this inclinometer here. So long story short, I got a brand new piece of wood and that's what you see here. So here's our new inclinometer. Now of course this one is not this one is not hanging off the wall yet and it's because I just got done laying the last bit of rock um, I had actually another small issue I was using a really good industrial grade hot glue to put this rock down and it was working fine I had a friend come over and he gave me um, it's kind of like a, like an off-brand liquid nails and I was like yeah it's gonna be great it'll be a lot faster well that didn't work so I had to peel some of that rock off and clean it up and go back to the hot glue where, where you see us now. So I haven't had the chance to actually hang it off of our suspension system here, but I'm going to. And when I do, we're going to have the Traxxas receiver on it. We're going to have our ESC hooked up and it's going to give us our inclinometer, except for now it's going to be made of stone. So much more valuable to somebody who's into competition crawlers. But I like to actually run up and down this silly thing with the Komodo. It's loads of fun. Guys, I, I'm going to get this thing suspended from the wall and we're going to turn it into an inclinometer extremely soon. Be sure to watch out for that video as well. Until next time, it's Brian, Amazing RC. We'll get you guys another really cool video very, very soon.